I'm coming in hot. You know the vibes. <laughs> yes, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Check, check, check. Microphone check. You know the vibes. Uh, Gemini Scorpio podcast episode zero seven. What? Eight. Seventy eight. You want to bet? We already said this in the beginning. I'm not going to bet you because some people in the comments last time was like, did you give him his hundred dollars? And I felt real betrayed. I did not like that. So I'm not going to bet. Babe, but we already, that was a free hundred dollars I was about to give you because we already established what episode okay, it was. Okay, come on. No, nah, it's too late. Let's get this thing popping. That was real petty. Let's get it popping. <laughs> Can we saw some music, some vibes? Oh, the vibes is here. We ain't do this in a while. <laughs> Ooh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, Bob, it's a Bob. <laughs> yeah, fresh off Valentine's Day. It's a Bob. We got some special <laughs> news for y'all. Y'all don't even know the half. Yeah. <laughs> what you're not going to do is host. Oh, uh, it's a Bob. <laughs> hey. It's a Bob. What you know about this, babe? Let me know. Sing the words. Come on. Say uh, that thing you can't have for. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, tell me I what those you words. want. I told you. Me. Uh, you, know the, you know the chorus? The, the verse? All right, let's see. Let's see. Come on. I'm Karaoke, let's like, go. Wait, don't pause uh, it. Like, no. Yeah, it makes me to see you in the hood. Say, oh, I don't want to get rich. See you, you in, in the hood. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I almost messed it up. It's a vibe. <laughs> what song would we say? What was... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What was... Let me see if you remember. What was my favorite song to sing to you? Oh, um... Wow. No, I know it. It's on my tongue. Wow. Hold up. Um, this is insane. No, it wasn't that one. It was the other one. It was one of them songs. You used to sing it in karaoke too. You don't know the song? I can't get it. I got on my you. Tongue. Before Come on. everybody jumped on it. Yeah, it was it was fairly new. This was five five years ago. Damn. <laughs> before everybody jumped on it, before the tiny desk, <laughs> before everybody started singing this like Tevin Campbell, can we talk? <laughs> This is my song to you, baby. You was. You uh. was singing this. <laughs> wow. You gonna sing it? Because you used to sing it for real. Yeah, you know. You better uh. sing it because you used this to sing it. you, you. I used to come in karaoke and I sing like this. Here you go. Spotlight. Big and stage. And my used to be shy. It used to make me take my hand in front of all the people. Like, like, Bodyguards. Limousines. <laughs> This is the way I see you in my dreams. On a <laughs> what do you say? A hundred pictures of you hanging on my. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm a kid again. But like, let it play. Let it play. Oh, you're the ooh. one controlling the bike. Don't get off my uh. nerves. <laughs> Talk about let it play, let it play. You really thought you was in the studio. <laughs> this was the vibe. Yes, babe. it was, babe. Babe, remember yeah. when? Talk about nostalgic. Remember when we first met? What I used to do? What you mean? This is crazy. On I used to, we used to drive, take rides. Yeah, you used to sing R and B songs to me all the time. The whole playlist, yeah. right? The I think. Daily. Let's do one more. I remember this song. I don't know if you, you probably don't remember this song. Which one? I used to sing this to you. Before we, before we five years in this now. Five years. We first thought I, I told you yes. this from day one, right? And I never, I never broke one. Let me see. Damn. What song is this one? Let's see if y'all can guess. Damn. You did. I remember when we was driving back from Silver Spring, Come you on. played this one. I told you this from the beginning, right? <laughs> I told you this from the beginning. No, you Never broke one promise, though. No, you didn't. I, I mean, maybe one. Maybe one. I have one. I have one. I ain't about to let you skate like that. Don't be uh, crazy. I know. <laughs> Damn. So you, you, you almost near perfect. Almost, almost. almost Nobody perfect. perfect. God, That's what I'm saying. You God almost, himself was but perfect, But you close. Though. Close? Yeah. Wow. You close. This was a... Vibe though. Mm -hmm. Think I, it's clear to me. Whoo! This was a Jay. vibe. I meant this, baby. I be oh, say I love you. Oh, I'm Carrie so Hill. proud to be a man. Yes, I listen. All well, you guys I came in wrong. Well, while I say get roses, roses cool. Get the roses, you know what I'm saying? But it was it's the singing the song. It's the singing the song. It put is a, though. I'm not gonna lie. Put it a is. song on that you really mean, no matter how gangster you is, and sing it to your woman and say, I think I keep you warm. I keep you satisfied. Ooh, I'll be a sunshine in the morning. Be your everything. This a vibe, brother. You 
I promise a vibe. And, and I, I never made a promise. It's the vibe right here. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. That's it. People. That's the vibe. Gemini Scorpio podcast, um, episode 78. 78. We coming crazier than we ever came. Period. Babe, remember when we first started? Yes. And I was terrible on camera and we were acting crazy. Yes, mm, I do mm, remember. Mm, mm. It was what? a very fun time though. It was fun. It was very fun. We used to gather everybody. It was kind of just... There used to be a lot of people in the house that went mm -hmm. all the time. All the time? Yeah. It was overwhelming a little bit for you at first. Oh, yeah. I got overstimulated very bad. Mm. Yeah. It was a lot of things going on. But I miss it. I miss the people. I miss the team. Yeah. Now look I at us, it, baby. Right. Spotlight. Spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you say. Wait, what? You never yeah, know the words. I know. That was bad. What I, you just say? Don't worry. We don't have to right. Yeah, we're not going to yeah, that. Man, just... And don't y'all go pause and put that back, please. That was bad. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Babe, like, look at it, though. Like, I know. Um, we're taking our time with it. Yes. Thank you for your patience. Of course, babe. I mean, kind of. I've been patient No, you've been hell. patient. But you don't, but you, you going to ask. Yeah. But you're, not, but you're patient. Because I feel like the people who love, people who love you. Yeah. They see me all the time. Yeah. They love you. They miss they you. They love us. They do love us, but I'm a I'm gonna give you your flowers. They love you for sure. Oh, thanks, baby. How they, they you got like a whole coat following your Don't call it a coat. Well, not <laughs> you really got fan base. Like people come yeah. just for shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. I love everybody. Yeah, man. It's a lot. I hug everybody. Yeah. So I mean, we are doing this podcast, man. Yes. I feel like everybody asks, like, what are we doing? Is it gonna yeah. be consistent? Is it not? I feel like I mean, what you think if you had to. What I've been whispering my motto for the last couple of weeks. I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm trying my I'm best. I'm trying my best. It just is a lot. But I like, we're definitely coming. We're going to try. I'm going to, it's me. It's not Jay. Let's mm. be clear. We're going to try our best to be as consistent as possible. But it's just so much going on mm. in our lives all the time. Like not even, it's just you, me, Amaya. It's just, this is a busy household and like I said, sometimes I get overstimulated and I just be taking a pause for sure. in a little second to make sure my head is on straight for the whole body fall apart. So I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're trying our best to keep it consistent. So this is, you know, hoorah, number mm. one. Next Sunday, we're going to try hoorah, number two, and we're just going to keep trying to... You wanted to try next Sunday? I was going to say take your time. We no, because you're not going to be here. Every other Sunday? You're not going to be here anyway. So we have to do every other Sunday. You're not going to be here. Man, we could try. I, we, yeah, make sure you pull up to Jay's 2000 party. We could do every Sunday if you want. Don't no. tempt me. No, no, yeah. Because no, no, no. then if I tell you, then you're going to hold me to it. And then yeah. you're going to be on my back. And now you're my manager. And now I'm mad. Now we're going to, no. Hey, we're going to do every yeah. other Sunday. Don't threaten me with a good yeah, time. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just Trust saying. me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> if anybody knows, I know. I'm not. Trust me. Okay. Every other Sunday. So how 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 has it been for us? We've been good. It has been good, yeah. right? Yeah. We've been really good. And it, not to say that, uh, you know, not doing the podcast, but it's just kind of privacy around the board, mm -hmm. like just full, full focus around the board. No, nah, for sure. Yeah. It's I think it's helpful. definitely, um, so I haven't been like thinking about it intentionally, but I, I would say the, the, the privacy is taking a step back yeah. from everybody, not feeling like I, so obligated to yes. tell everybody else business. You know what I'm saying? All the time. It definitely works. Yeah. Um, and I think it's dope. Yeah. Think, and, and, and that's we the, took some time to get things together for sure. Um, plant our seeds, do the right things. That's a fact, yeah. Sheesh, I mean, well, <laughs> why not? That that kind of leads me into the first thing I wanted to talk okay, about. Okay, what do you want to so talk about? So, I saw this in like this video, okay, literally, um, like, uh, literally, I saw this literally a few minutes ago. I'm about to get this pizza, so bear with me, uh. Um, chicken and Lisa. spinach. Um, Thank God. Um, all right, bet. Because I know y'all probably heard that, but <laughs> it seems like that the water. Oh, you know, I, yeah, you know, I pay attention to everything. You hear the drip? I do. That's like water. remember when we first the drip from the faucet. Remember when we first started <laughs> recording, bro? That made me think of. <laughs> 
our fire alarm was always. He, oh my God, yes. It will always go off in the building. <laughs> no, no, not that. No, no. When we, we, we would have never change the batteries on our fire alarm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'd be listening back and it'd be the fire alarm going off like beep, beep, beep. Nobody, oh my God. Oh yeah, my that God. Was bad. So anyway, um, oh, yeah. Amateur mistakes. Say, yeah, but now every time me. I watch a video, if I see it, I'm like, yo, that's the fire alarm. I never, I never knew what that was <laughs> before. I can't get it now out of my head. Know. It's living rent free in my head. I'm so, screaming. I seen this video right, and I was like, um, this is this is something that I kind of been. I don't want to say scared to talk about. Okay. In a day and age of like all like self care, put yourself okay. first, and things like right. that. This was something that. I'm glad they're t touching on. on it. Yeah, so okay. we play it. I'm gonna get your Excited. opinion on it. My birthday, and now I'm judging my a little bit different. But uh, but this is just me growing. Oh, I want. Oh, I gotta start it over. Hold up. We shoot a lot of people bail and remove the accountability because we allow them to chalk it up as just people growing apart when really they didn't do the necessary relationship maintenance to compete with their own individual maintenance. Mm -hmm. So it's like you know what? The better thing for me to do is say, you know, I'm on my boss. Now, I'm trying to do X, Y, Z when the bond was here before this new development within your own personal situation. So it's like, you know what? We're just not growing apart. My ego could be getting bigger. Mm -hmm. My attitude could be a lot more short term. Mm -hmm. I, I could become a little more worldly now. So I'm checking other girls stories and what they're getting for Christmas and their birthday. Am and I now really? I'm judging my a little bit different. But uh, but this is just me growing. I, I like want it. fancier dinners. Hold on, I want <laughs> expensive <laughs> more Hold trips, on, right? <laughs> so we can't we got to be mindful when we shoot people bail because we might just give them mm -hmm. an opportunity to you know, the self-imposed so yeah. flex. Yeah. Flex that's going to destroy a yeah. partner. Because, right. you know, so in a sense, because that growth is crazy. Like, sometimes up. growth is sharpening your own sword, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's not It's not swapping it out for an Uzi. That was great. That was great. You want to go? That was great. Um, sure. Um, you know, my first thoughts is that I think you definitely have to follow each other through seasons mm. because every season does look different and not even like good or bad season. It's just really growth season. Like I'm like, I've said this before, like I'm not the same woman you met five years ago. I'm not even the same woman you dated two years ago. You mm. know what I'm saying? I'm a whole different person now. I like different things. I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I like, I don't, I don't like some things that I did used to like, you get what I mean? So I think it is a measurement of just constantly like learning your partner. Mm. It is. And it's trying because you want to think like, no, I know them already, but like, you always have to keep learning your partner because like, you know, some key things he says, like sometimes it's not like, oh, what I'm not getting is just like I may require more now than I did before. And that's mm. OK, because our goal is to be better and want more for ourselves and things like that. So it's not like, you know, I'm trying to pressure you or, you know, to do, you know, but I am at the same time, because that's what that's just looking now my requirements. Like, you know what I mean? So I, I, I love that, you know, they spoke on that because it is true. Like, I think it's true. And I think people, um, some people are scared of that. Like, you know what I mean? Like asking for more. And I think that's the comfortability. I think that people need to find in themselves, never being ashamed of asking for what you just desire and require. Because sometimes when you don't ask, you're just not going to get it. Closed mouths don't get fed. So if I don't ask for it, I'm not going to get it. But sometimes we get scared to ask because you don't want to, you don't want to ask too much out of your partner or, you know, maybe that you don't think they're there yet, or maybe they could be, but you're just not asking. So they don't think you there yet. You know mm. what I mean? It's just all in the conversation. I think it was dope. So I'm not even gonna lie, I feel like I got the total opposite. What did you get? <laughs> so like just listening to it, you yeah. know, especially in today's age, right? Yeah. It's all about self-love. If somebody can't give you what you want, then it's somebody who can. Right. And just hearing like you like, you don't always have to sometimes it's about sharpening your own sharpening yeah. your own sword, not swapping it out for another sword. Right. Or a Uzi, right. like you said, right? And for me, I just think, you know, when he said like it's like we always giving people kudos for like people growing apart and people understand they they just separating. Right. When like it's like, bro, sometimes you just gotta work through it. Like sometimes you gotta yeah. work on yourself first, right. right? Sometimes if you work on yourself, work on the relationship that you do have. Yeah. Instead of looking at everything, everybody else's relationship, yeah. looking at the other grass. Yeah, yeah, their grass is green, but you don't know what they did to to, yeah. to make it that's green. Right. They put some fertilizer in it. They watered mm -hmm. it every day. What you doing with your grass? You well, walking they just all listened. over it. You know what I'm saying? They simply listened. Right. They, they you, you walking all over your grass. Mm -hmm. You you know what I'm saying? So it's like when I listen to it. I think about us because like we've been here five years mm -hmm. and I'm not going to lie. Like it's in the beginning, look, looking back on it, as crazy as this is going to sound, I'm glad we went through those things then. Mm -hmm. 
because it's kind of like fine wine. It's like wine. Yeah. It gets better with time, mm-hmm. right? And like in the beginning, it's so easy for people to judge you to say it's toxic. That's not good for you. And all those those things were toxic. All those all though those things wasn't good for us. You know what I'm saying? But we was able to grow through those things because at those times it was really really we was 26. You know what I'm saying? But it still was really early in our life. I, I remember I, uh, I made a comment to you before because I feel like like even when we look back then because we're five years older than we were then we were also younger. Yeah, exactly. You know, and um, I remember saying something that I like I've always thought to myself like subconsciously because I feel like. Uh, every guy I dated, like when I was younger, like I'm like, y'all wouldn't even know if y'all knew who I was now, like, please, like I'm way better of that girl. Right. And I say that because I, what I, what I was trying to say is I always felt like if somebody just waited to see how you grow, because Mm. like sometimes like I am immature or I am emotionally stumped because I'm just maturing. Like, Mm. you know what I mean? Or you're just maturing, but because that process doesn't look pleasant all the time or like people don't know how to handle the conflict during that time. It's like, you know, uh uh-uh, find somebody else to do it. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? But really, like, we really just growing. That's why I think it's more of a commitment to really growing individually, but also growing with somebody else. And it's not an easy commitment. So I'm not even telling people to just, you know, always pick that road because it's not, you have to really want to do it. Like, you can't really, that ain't something that just falls in your lap that you just do. It's You just got to really want to do it. It's the same, like, with, I think, you know how, Everything in life is a mirror of life itself, if that makes sense. When mm-hmm. I play sports, sports was could be an analogy and compare it to the life life itself, even in relationships, right? I heard you say this and it made me think about life, about parenthood. Like it's really one thing you always wish that was was a, a like a a blueprint. Like you said, mm-hmm. like when, when you had a Maya, it's well, kinda no like blueprint. they said, just take her, just yeah, figure the it hospital out. Hospital say, yeah, burper. The guy, uh-huh. Guess what? Make sure she burps. She gets gassy. That's it. Facts. But, <laughs> like, that's it. But the same thing with relationships, right? They yeah. say communication, right? Yep. No expectations. Mm-hmm. Bro, how, I, I don't even know what that looked yeah. like. I didn't have a two-parent household. I have no idea how that should go. But I go on social media and I, I have an idea of what it supposed to look like, right? But I don't know what they're going through in, in their home when nobody mm-hmm. is looking, right? So I feel like even with that and like... And this is the dope thing about this podcast because I hope the young people can really hear what we're saying because like because I was crazy yeah but I was too and it was no, some it was but it was some it was some things it was, I was justified saying but, <laughs> I don't know about that, I, but, I mean but yeah like but even still I was like you know I was immature yeah but you a, gotta be willing to be okay with that like nobody is perfect through every season so there is just some season that I wasn't the best partner or you weren't the best partner or we weren't the most communicative or I was, I wanted to do this. You wanted to do that. You want to do it your way. I want to do it my way. And it wasn't always best for the relationship. Mm. And people be so scared to be like, nah, like I was fucking up. Like, or I, you know, I just didn't have what I needed at that time to bring to the table or I wasn't as equipped at that moment, but you get equipped along the way. Like Mm. you get equipped, you get the things you need. So you have to be open to be even remotely honest with that because you're just not like people I feel like you know what it is about relationships they humble you mm-hmm. I'll tell you why they humble you because everybody act like Tuh, never could be me couldn't be me or no so that ain't me it, right? or I'm so above this I'm so above that or I would never and guess what yeah and then your partner also always tell you about yourself and that's mm. the other thing like your partner always gonna be like I don't give a what they told you you, you listen you ain't that Mm -hmm. And then vice versa. You know what I'm saying? And because people don't like to look at the mirror or they are, they have, they lack a lot of self-awareness. Like sometimes we just don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. Like we don't want to really look at like, damn, maybe I do got some more work to do because we get on this high horse so fast from the high. Somebody see you on social media or outside of your, your household is like, you're doing a good job the whole time. Like, you know, you but folding. You ain't do shit you was supposed to do in a month. Like, but, but you same, know, I feel like. But I told you this, right? Yeah. I feel like two things can coexist, facts, right? Like facts, you can, facts. you can very can much both. so be doing really right. good, and your friends can acknowledge it and yeah. everything. But guess what? It you still can be messing up in one part of your life, and, and that don't part, mean exactly. that you're messed. That don't mean you're messed up. That don't right. mean that you're, you're just you're, not perfect. You're, yeah, and it's like, and think about it. We're we're multifaceted people, right? Yeah. Individuals. Very so think so. about it like this. You're doing a hell of a job as a mom. You're doing a hell of a job as a father. You're doing a hell of a job as a man or, right. or a woman, a husband, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a wife. You're doing a hell of a job with your job. You're doing a hell of a job taking care of the house. You're doing a hell of a job taking care of your, your pets or whatever the case may be. But I don't know. 
you might over talk me sometimes or you mm -hmm. might um mm -hmm. get flustered at times or you know what I'm saying you mm -hmm. might be immature and you might talk to girls when you shouldn't right. and it, that doesn't take away from you as a person no, I don't. but you should it be really able don't. to take the criticism and the critiques of, of to get better like exactly. yo exactly you feel me and i feel like people just take some things too personal and then they don't understand that it's hard to balance all of those things like it is really hard to all right i'm gonna be a good mom i'm gonna be a good co-worker i'm gonna be a good girlfriend boyfriend i'm gonna be a good friend i'm gonna be a good daughter i'm gonna be a good son it's a lot of duties and a lot of hats so you're gonna fall short somewhere and even it doesn't those, even matter even you're if, gonna in, fall short even if you, like just because i don't know you, you forgot uh a date a, a date on a schedule for the practice or something that doesn't take away from your motherhood or your yep. parenthood. Like, yep. bro, you a great parent because of everything that's the way you life at now. Life be life, man. You get what I'm saying? And life be whooping ass, actually. Exactly. Don't even be life, man. Yes. Life will literally square you the fuck up. Like, facts. That's why I think, just from the clip, I'm like, I yeah. thought it was dope because it is. we always, and it's nothing wrong with loving yourself. But a part of loving yourself is acknowledging that, you know what? Self-awareness. Yeah. You know what? I, I got some things to work on. Mm -hmm. And somebody was asking me the other day, like, Yo, when y'all split up or whatever the case may be, like, what was you doing? Things like that. Or how did y'all go so long and stuff like that? And I'm like, I'm not going to lie, bro. I think the easiest part was because we both understood that we had some work to do. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it was yeah. like, it wasn't like yeah. Jay is just an idiot and he's just messing up, messing yeah. up. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. like I, 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 I'm, I was confident to say, I feel like yeah. both of us understood we had a role right. to play in what we right, like, right, the, right, the, right. the like, nonsense, the yeah, toxicity. You like, but you, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> you know? So that was easy we were for able us to, to see that. Yeah, so it was easy for us to keep, to hold on to each yeah. other because it's like. But I think that's so phenomenal. And mm. I just want to pat us on the back for that because it's not com as common as people make it seem. It's actually really hard to have a little self awareness and to just simply be like, nah, I got some work to do. And, you know, a lot of people, and I've been guilty of it, too. So I'm not talking at people. I'm talking to us as a unison. Talking with sometimes, we, we yeah, together. Like, sometimes it is easy to get lost in, like, the victim mentality. It's mm. super easy to be like, nah, this was, because some things just hurt. So when your feelings are hurt, you're really not trying to hear, like, what part you played. It's just like, no, that hurt me. How could you? Why would you? Who does that? Mm. But it doesn't really highlight, damn, what part did I play that I gave off the energy that this was tolerated, accepted, or we can be here? Like, what what part did I play in that? Or where did I... And it's not that sometimes you're not just done wrong, because that happens too. But sometimes there is a part you play, whether you, whether you accepted some behaviors before that led to that, them red flags, or just that... You stay longer than you should have. It just mm. could be multiple things, but you still play a part. And you have to sometimes just take some accountability. Like, you know what? I'm going to be re more responsible for me and the things I do and the things I allow. And, you know, if you do better, you get better. It's, it's really an attraction thing. So, you know. No, facts. I think, yeah. I think, I think it's definitely. You know, I'm just growing up out here. You feel what I'm saying? I'm just being a big girl. No, facts. Got my big girl drawers on, my thongs on, you know. Mm. I'm trying my best. You know how I am with, like, Vivid pictures, baby. So, like, yeah, you love giving you people a pictures. Very wild imagination. Love, I didn't mean it like that. You I love just, planning. I was too trying it. to, I just was trying to equate big girl draws and like big girls don't wear draws, they wear like thongs. So, no, it's big just girls like, probably wear like granny panties. That's old, but you said thongs. So, now with some weirdo in a, in a in a comments or looking at his picture, you in a thong right now, bending over, like it look nice. Picture it. You never gonna see it. You know Only what I'm saying? Just, I mean, no, because you, you going let a picture shit so shit. Let's 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 let's. It's gotta take things too far. I'm just saying, you did it. Get caught. Don't start it. I'm a Patreon. Patreon. <laughs> Patreon. <laughs> this could be a Gemini Scorpio. <laughs> wow, T it still can be TGSP if you know what I mean. Gemini, the Gemini Scorpio porno. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it's the money right, <laughs> Jay? Please. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, them TGSP. Only fun, them OnlyFans, a bad baby right. cashed out. Millions of dollars. For showing toes. I'm just saying, we get the right. cloud up. You know what I'm saying? You it. probably could show a little toe or something. I could people, do a toe. People love people a like toes. Fetish. And then, what was the chick that was just on? Um, She was just on uh, The Breakfast Club. She got her whole feet done. She, <laughs> bro, they doing BBLs for the feet No, I've down. seen that. I've seen that. Bro. Actually, it's a doctor famous here. For the BBO feet. She had the corns and bunions And they removed them. They removed yeah. all of it. I seen a couple influencers promoting the new, I think it's like, I forgot what it's called, but 
some type of podiatry going nah, on. No, facts. So at, at the end of the day, all in all, it's just hard hey, to grow with somebody. It period. is because it's hard to grow by with, yourself. By your damn self. By damn, like, like I'll be sick of me. Like, I know you'll be sick of me. I'll be like, damn, what the is wrong with you? Yeah. You know? Sometimes, but you know, like, I love myself. So, like, yeah. I'll be like, how could you be sick of me? <laughs> it's like, damn, <laughs> please. Because I know you play it. I know you play it. For sure. You love being funny, huh? You think you're a comedian? I don't. I don't. But some shit do be funny, like what you just said, because I know you fucking like. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Okay. I love Chappelle. Whatever. Chappelle. Cat Williams. Show. Whatever. <laughs> All right, man. Um, yeah. That I just thought that was a dope uh, No, I love that clip. That was really good. Yo. Sounds like pizza? I don't know. So speaking of that, speak speaking of that, speaking right? Speaking of the pizza. Now, I'm going to give Nigel a shout out right now, bro. He said, what pieces, bro? I just want chicken and spinach, bro. I'm recording, bro. Like, help me Wait, out. Wait, you said that multiple times already? He said, what pieces? What pieces? Like, I don't, what do you mean? Get a big pizza. I sent you some money, whatever we can get. Shout out to Nigel from Unspoken Shout out Podcast. to Unspoken ATL, man. <laughs> I'm going to say it's, uh, it's five of us. Um, but yeah, um, what I was saying. Speaking of me loving me. Self love. Self love. I love it. Please love you. You asked a question. What did I ask? <laughs> yes, what, did I ask? what did I ask yesterday? <laughs> That's why I don't like asking stuff. It was like, um, I feel like a lot of girls probably can relate to this. Because I feel like guys would be chilling. Oh. And like, I feel like hmm. women, like, y'all just be like, just emotional. I'm going to say it. I ain't scared of y'all. I ain't scared of y'all. Y'all just be emotional sometimes. You be like, yo, a question you asked since. We was doing this podcast before. Why is it that you only get upset when I get upset? Because it's like, why? Why? Because most of the times I'm chilling. So when you come around bringing your, your polluting it, the, the air with your energy, it's like now was now now I, I just inhaled the, the bad energy. Now I'm upset. So I just came around and just was mad for no reason. I'm not saying mad like, for no reason. So I just was like, you know what? I'm coming to pollute your area with my attitude because I just got this attitude for no reason. All right, so let's paint a picture then. So let's get more vivid then. So yes, please. Uh, all right, let's get more vivid. So, <sighs> so Sade, now you want to tell them why you was upset the other day? Sure. Just tell them why you was upset. I was upset. Because Jay told me early in the morning that he was going to help me clean up the house. Uh -huh. My mom did an impromptu trip down here on Thursday. She tells me she's going to be here Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, house got to be clean. We got to do what we got to do. Jay's like, okay, cool, Shade. I'm going to help you, baby. Don't trip. No worry. Mm -hmm. Jay goes and cleans his side of the closet only. Because you asked else. me to do that. Well, no, first of all. Did you I, or did you not ask me to do that? I did okay. ask you to do that a week ago. Okay. That you did not do from when I did the laundry a week ago. Okay. So what I said was, no, it's clothes to put away. I can't put your clothes away because your closet is all, all over the place. And I started naming other things. I said, the dishes need to be done. Da, 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 da. You said, okay, baby, I got you. Jay cleaned his closet. And that was it. So I cleaned everything else. On top of it, my daughter asked her to put... Her black clothes in the washing machine. Asked me if my daughter did it. No. Mm -hmm. So I had an attitude because nobody did what they said they were going to do. And I was left to do it. Okay, cool. My turn? So now, hold on. Oh, all right, all right, let's go. And now Jay's like, he keeps walking around giddy. Like. I'm in a good mood. In a good mood. A great like, mood. What's wrong with you? Right. I'm like, nigga, I'm irritated. Why? He's like, why? Oh, because every time I ask you and Amaya to do something, y'all leave me hanging and I have to do it myself. Is that so? Not all the time, but uh, this week. You just week. said. Let me, not all the time, but this week. We're just talking about this incident. Cool. I'm not being literal, like, you know. Cool. But you see how you just slid that in there, right? No, all the because, time. And no, that no, it's not. But in the moment, it feel like all the time because in that time, it like, like, it like felt like it was a lot. Is that the reality? Right there. It felt like the whole day. And it was. I'm going to let the people judge for that. But anyway, listen. For real. So is it my turn? Sure. Cool. This is why I get upset when Shade get upset. First first of all, that's, before I even go into that, I cleaned up the closet, what you asked me to do, right? A week ago, yeah. Okay, cool. A week ago, we said, shit, the crib probably was dirty for a week. Uh, all right then, cool. Maybe. So it's time to clean up. Is that a part of- That's dirty, messy. My messy. Is, is cleaning up the closet in the room a part of cleaning up? 
Sure. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Yes, it is. Cool. So I did help. All right. So two. A part. I help. Two. That's crazy. Two. Right. Nasty work. Two. What did you do that whole day? You just cleaned up, right? Well, let me say. Let me not say just. That's not fair. I'm, I cleaned. I'm, I cooked. Yeah, you did great. You did great. Right. You cleaned and cooked. Did I had to take Amaya to practice. I had to go get Amaya from practice. Okay. I also had to reshoot an interview that I messed up the day before, right? Okay. Cool. So with me, I'm frustrated because it's like, bro, if anybody, you taught me these damn words, condescending, empathetic, uh, uh, narcissistic, I can go on. <laughs> like she taught me these words. So if anybody should be empathetic, I'm assuming it would be you because you always ask for it, right? Right. Have empathy. So you're walking around so irritated. I'm like, yo, what's wrong? You're like, but I just upset because you said you was gonna help clean up, da 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 da. And I'm like, yo, like, bro, like, it just pissed me off. Cause like, if anything, I'm thinking you should understand, like, bro, he just took Amaya to practice. So we both had a full day. Like, I, I did clean up the, I did what I could. After that, I had to go reshoot the interview. I had to rush from reshooting. And I'm already frustrated with that, but I'm not taking it on you. I reshot the interview. I went to, uh, I took Amaya to practice. I went to go get Amaya from practice. So when we about to leave out, you're like, you irritated. I'm like, bro, come on, dog. Like, My question is, what is wrong with me being irritated? Is that not an emotion I'm allowed to feel? You, you, you're good at this. I'm just asking. Because even if I say, you asked me what's wrong. Uh -huh. This this would be my, my, my real irritation. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I might be having a little attitude. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm working through I it. I might be having a little I'm attitude. Worried, but I'm not, I'm not like, fuck you. I'm just in my head like, this is some bull while I'm sweeping. That's it. Oh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. That's it. In your head. Why you that sleeping? is what I was doing. Cool. While I'm sweeping. Um, so I'm like just sweeping. He's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, nothing. the first time I said, I don't want to talk about it. That's you what said I nothing. said. No, I said nothing. I don't want to talk about it. That's what I said. I did say nothing, but I also said I didn't want to talk about it. And then you said, I mean, it's all over your disposition. I said, I'm irritated. That's what's wrong with me. And my point is, why I can't just be irritated? I'll tell you why. Why? Because you be, it be the the disposition. It's so condescending. Well, what's my disposition? I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm asking doing? you what's wrong, right? You keep saying nothing. You keep, I'm like, yo, why are you acting like that? But how am I acting? It's like, bro, you know how you acting. So okay. if, I'm, if I'm saying, yo, why are you acting like that? Why are you talking to me like that? You're like, you, I'm like, how am I acting? I ain't acting like nothing. Like, why? <laughs> it's like, bro, come on. You And then I just feel like to answer your question direct is because we talked about this before. You're the woman. Your your vibe kind of resonates through the house. So if right. you wake up upset, it, now the whole house is kind of thrown off. The energy of the house is messed but up. But when y'all don't do what y'all supposed to do, that gives me an emotion. So that's cool. my thing. So it's it's the same thing. Like if my vibe runs how the house is supposed to run, then why the fuck are y'all getting on my nerves? Because I asked y'all, Amaya, and I'm still mad she ain't do it. And then she gonna come home complaining how she ain't had black clothes because she didn't put the black clothes. In a wash machine. Long story short. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is because y'all contribute to the mood. Cool. All right. I ain't mad at that. So for Amaya, I feel like is a this Amaya is different. For me and you, right? I think it's different only because, like I told you the other day, I was driving in my car and I did get frustrated for a second, but I was able to check myself yes. because I'm like, you know what? It's things I want to do. It's things I want to complete, but I can't because I got to do this and that, right? right? And I thought about it. I'm like, yo. Imagine how Shadi feel at work, yes. right? She's at work all day on her feet. She got this new job. You know what I'm saying? It's probably hard as hell. Yes. And I'm like, that would be unfair for me to be upset at her or even show my frustration, put my frustration on her because of something that we're both dealing with. Right. Like we both have this issue. So I'm not saying that you can't, I'm sorry, I mean, but I'm, I'm not saying that you can't be frustrated, but, but just being honest, being just getting to the crux of the matter, I feel like I get frustrated because in those moments, I feel like a lot of the time I'm always checking myself like, yeah, I want to have something to be upset about, but it's like, bro, that's not fair. So I hear what you're saying. However, I think there's a balance because there's times that I check myself on things as well. It's just that, what? Nothing. Now you're the only one who check yourself. I never once. said that. You're right. There's you're right. guys you gave. That's not fair. You're right. You know what I'm saying? There's times I check myself, but I do think there's some times that I do want to be vocal and just say that. I'm also irritated. You know what I'm saying? And when you say, I asked you, is your disposition? The f first thing you say is nothing. I don't want to talk about it. But when I ask you, it's your disposition. But when I, I tell you, it's not like you do much with the information. You get mad because I'm mad. That's how the conversation started. Mm. You're like, well, 
I drove and I didn't get upset with you. Or and da, 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 da. you said you was going to go to the grocery store for a whole week and you never went. And I did, did I did I ever press you once for that? No, but there's been other things you have. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said there's a balance. Sometimes you're going to check yourself. Sometimes you're going to want to vent mm. and just get it off. Like whatever. That's why I said that I don't think that experiencing emotion is a problem because being angry, frustrated, irritable, whatever it is, they're all an emotion just like happiness. However, mm. it's what you do with the emotion. You know, young me, you know, I might have been in this like, this is something, you know what I'm saying, cussing everybody else, but now I'm just irritated. You know what I'm saying? My disposition may be off. I might have a little, you know, I might not want to talk for like an hour and I might be walking around just looking at y'all like, why do y'all live here? Mm. But I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm allowed to experience that emotion. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just like anybody else, like, you know, I seen something the other day, and I think that if a lot of kids were taught this as younger, we would have better jobs at managing our emotions. Because mm. I'm learning so late in life how you to manage not my say emotion. About meditating. No, I'm not. Oh. That's cool, though. That's cool. Um, my mother. Um, so, but what I was gonna say is, there was this video of this kid, uh, a, a a little girl, and she was like really angry. And her mom would let her know, no, it's okay for you to be angry because sometimes you, you're going to get angry because people experience these emotions. They're real. So to expect people not to experience them is like telling them that you're only supposed to have emotions that are pleasing to others, like happiness and smiling mm -hmm. and things. But it's not true. That's nobody's emotion all the time. Right. So I I try to allow myself to feel the feelings that I need to feel. Like if I'm irritated, irritated I'm just fucking irritated. It's going to pass. It's going to move just like everything else. It's emotion. It's, you know, motion, energy, emotion. Like that's all emotion is. It's going to move. However, I want to have a second to be irritated. So, just like because I'm irritated and so I have a reason to be. And In all fairness, right, I feel like just how you say it feel like you never, right? What you were saying, what you said a few minutes ago, you was like, yeah. I'm in here. It feel like you never do it, right? But you can no, acknowledge that. I said that, that day. Like, yeah, that day. It, that that day, whole day. It felt like a long day. Right. That it day felt, like, felt like a year, but it, it felt was like a, a year. day. So in all fairness, when you're saying you're irritated, it kind of feel like- A year for you. Yeah, it feel like- you been irritated you all shit, week. You ain't shit. You did. Like, it, that? That's what it feels. Just like you said, if a day for like a year. I'm telling you how when you say you irritated, irritated about something now, I did. Now I said you ain't shit. It, it feels like that's bro. what I'm saying. If, if I if you could say a day for like a year, I'm telling you that when you say you irritated about something I did, it feels like I did a hundred things. Oh baby, I'm so sorry. I just be irritated, and that's what I'm saying. If, this is what I don't understand. If men can not acknowledge that women are emotional, so let us be fucking emotional. Oh, you think you slick? Yeah, you know. <laughs> you think you yeah, slick. I mean, yeah. I'm, in so. retrospect, it, like if that's a part of our nature, like not to say I'm not saying raging emotion. Like, don't be out here. I'm not saying because you, you know, know, like now I'm irritated. Now I done bust the window. I'm not saying because you know they say, like it was a. I done did that. It was too, a saying, but not like that. Oh, it was a saying oh, a long stop. time ago that you like niggas ain't shit. All they do is cheat. So I mean, if y'all know niggas ain't shit, then just let them cheat. No. I mean, you, hey, no. that was your analogy. No. I'm just no. trying to meet no. you halfway. That was that, terrible. I'm just trying to that meet you. That was a terrible analogy. Like, I'm no. trying to meet you halfway. That wasn't half. That was ass. Oh, like, yeah. so I'm sorry. all I'm saying, but and, uh, half ass. All jokes aside, all jokes like, aside. Just honestly, like you say, you check yourself at times. It sounds why I do feel like you're emotional and I, and I, and I, and I let yeah. it go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Let me Fair ask you enough. this then. In those moments when you're irritated, right? And you said, like, and I didn't do anything. All I did was kind of like let your frustration be frustrate me. Right. What do I do in those moments? Can you repeat that question one more time? In those moments when you're irritated, right? And right. you express that you're irritated about X, Y, and Z. Right. Instead of me taking your frustration and being frustrated about right. it, what would, what, would, what would be the ideal thing to do? The ideal As a man. thing to do is say, you know what, babe? I get why you're irritated. Mm. It's cool. I understand. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I did just clean up the closet. You did ask me to do that, but my bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I get, oh, that's a lot. Done. That's it. That's cool. It. Thanks. 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 Because it is a lot. You think you'll put a smile on after that or you still yes. be irritated? No, I probably have a little attitude, but I might crack a smile. Like, mm, oh, that was cute. And then I'll get over it. All right. We're going to try that. Yeah. That's all you got to say. Nah, you know, your mom's coming. You're overwhelmed. You know how to break some news to her. <laughs> Don't break some news, but you know. I had to tell her some things, you know? <laughs> so it's like, I was overwhelmed as is. Like, you know, she did an impromptu trip down here. You know, my got practice. We, it was a lot. I was supposed to work on Friday. I had to call out just so I could do everything I needed to do. So I was uh -huh. just overwhelmed. 
know what I'm saying? I'm missing money to do it. You know, that's it. It was I'm a long just, day for you, baby. It was a long day. I just, oh. Thank you. No problem. Back smile. I, I can see that was a long day. I can see why you would be frustrated for it, though. I appreciate you. I can see why your dad would be frustrated, too. Oh, yes. Thank you. Look at us. Look at us. Yeah, Grove. Black love. Shout out to Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, speaking of growth, this guy, I don't know if I feel sorry for him Ooh. or like, Oh, pfft. Chris Brown. I feel sorry for him. I feel like he can't get a break. He never gets a break. So, um... What happened, if you want to? So, basically, uh, Keely from 3LW. I, must, I didn't even list. know who that was, bro. Going with the list. Okay. I'm just, I'm just getting tired of promises, promises, promises. That girl. So, she... Is 3LW... Oh, that's, no, that's SWV. Week? I guess 3LW week. is... Um, I know you're sick and tired of the brokest promises, promises. Yeah, I man, that's cool. What's so another song? So, um, Wild Creep? That's SWV. That's S. That's not even SWV. Oh, she. <laughs> that's great. That's Brandy. No. <laughs> Who is that? I think that's a TLC. TLC. It's that, like it, TLC, 3LW, 3LW no, SWV. God damn. ABCs. <laughs> right. Um, no, 3LW is the Cheetah Girls. They were also Monty the 3. Cheetah Girls. Okay. They were also the Cheetah Girls. No, so no, just tell me the story. Cheetah. I'm sorry, babe. But anyway, <laughs> I butchered that all up. But um, Notori, the girl who plays in Power... As Ghost's wife, okay, his wife, wife, not, okay. not yeah, yeah. the side wife, yeah, because that was like the Browns can say she played. Brown's can, she and was Biggie a part, movie too, right? Yep, she was also three in three LW. Okay, right. Um, Adrian Ballin, who's on. Stop with the names, baby. Just tell me the story, okay? Because I don't. I like know. her, but oh, uh, um, so basically, Keely, the reject one out mm-hmm. of three LW, because she's the only one who doesn't have got nothing going on. I didn't mean that like that. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying you meant you it, know. but it's okay. I meant it, but not like throw shade. Hey, it's, it's just is what it it's is. Shady, but it's okay. Um. Yeah, so she made a so Chris Brown and Chloe Bailey are making a song together, and they posted it. So Keely from Three O W, the reject one, was like, um, you know, basically made a comment of like, why is he, you know, women working with him? He's a woman beater, mm. et cetera. And um, you know, he came back defending himself, like, you know, basically like he made a mistake seventeen years ago, mm-hmm. like, and people want to keep holding on to that, yet they smile in the faces of. You know, people who are sleeping with underage girls, abusing their wives, and et cetera, et cetera, and nobody says anything to them, but because it's him, you know. And then he told her to stop it. <laughs> he did. He did. I'm gonna let you. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. Oh, that Slaps was neat. That cracked, that um, he you told up. her to stop it. It did. Okay. And um, so then yeah, they kind of were going back and forth, but then in this spill that Chris Brown was saying, he was like, you know. Trying to make a point, he said, you know, you guys glorify people like Krishan Rock and Blueface, Mm. but you guys condemn me for something I did 17 years ago. So, you know, Blueface baby comes on here and he basically tells him like, you know, like basically that's like saying like, oh, he he does it. Too like it's kind of like I guess he's saying it's kind of like snitching like mm-hmm. oh well he beats his woman too nobody says nothing about him so he was just saying like if I did something I'm not gonna be like yeah bro don't look at me look at them type nah, of thing thanks. so yeah I'm not gonna lie so like it's it's just unfortunate because I do empathize with Chris Brown yeah but what Blue Face said was. Yeah, it like had, what, what Chris Brown did wasn't man time. And I feel like right. as men, we should be able to be like, you know what, bro, I wasn't... Like, that doesn't take away yeah. from who Chris Brown is. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, like, right. it's just he got emotionally and he allowed his emotions to, yeah. to for him to react on some yeah. actions. You I mean, some saying? people were saying, like, damn, you let a Cheeto girl get you out of character. It was kind of... But now I can see that. Like that but, but it probably... He, she probably was just the icing on the cake. Right, yeah. I think he was fed up over it. Like, exactly. overall. It wasn't yeah. really her. I think it was just... He was just tired of people... You know, because that's a lot of the reason why they don't let him perform certain places. And, you know, and he's super talented. You know, it's kind of not... I don't, I don't want to say it's fully hindered Chris's career, but it has hindered him in a lot of ways yeah, still. Because he's still Chris Brown at the end of the day. No, nah, and that's um, what I was going to say. I feel like, but that's, to me, in my opinion, right? I think that's the difference between our stars and our yeah. superstars. I said this yeah. about Nicki Minaj yeah. before, right? Yeah. I feel like Beyonce... Ain't saying nothing. She don't. Ki- she might go and make a song. a song, right? And you you gonna come listen to the song? Of course, some shit gonna go down when it's a billion dollars in the elevator. You feel me? So it's like I feel like that shows you so that should, diff- yeah. that, sh- that separates the stars from the superstars. Yeah. And I feel like this is a, a unfortunate situation for Chris Brown. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But bro, you can't just like. First of all, you putting them under the bus. It's different 
if you said it like this, yo, I ain't gonna lie, like y'all hold me to something that was 17 years ago, that shit is whack. And y'all and y'all applauding, there. or even if y'all, y'all applaud, it's yeah, y'all applauding a, a bunch of toxicity okay. in the world now, that's corny. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that you, you mean that's fine. If you I'm saying that's that fine if yeah. he said like that's corny. You feel me? Like, right. yo, that's corny that y'all it's like y'all y'all condemn me so much, like, but yeah, y'all yeah. Applauding yeah. so much BS in the world right, right now. You know what I'm saying? So many relationships that's that, that got BS going on in y'all right. and y'all love it. They on TV, all that stuff, yeah. right? Even if you say they on like they on TV, all this, you ain't saying no, but names. no names. You know what I'm saying? The fact you put a name on it, I'm sorry. The fact you put a name on it, and that was like, damn, Chris Brown. Yeah. You feel me? So I, I come then he started on. posting pictures of other people who was doing similar things. You ain't seen oh, it. Oh, I didn't see that. It was that's a whole crazy. story of like yeah. people who had I think I seen people talking about that part. It's like, come but on. But I mean, I kinda so. I don't know, because I ain't going to lie. When I'm fucking fed up, every, everything can fucking burn. I ain't mm. going to lie. I'm just, y'all go burn. You know what? You, matter of fact, your auntie and your uncle, I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying he's right for it, but I don't really think he meant it at a shot at specific Blueface or Sean. Sure. I think he a, definitely, because I think in, 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 in hindsight, yeah, it was definitely a stray bullet. Yeah. But in hindsight, it was definitely, it still makes sense what he's saying. For because sure. at the end of the day, the way they are parading around and the way that the fans are for Krishan and Blueface is disgusting. I'm sorry. It's I love crazy. Krishan. Me and my mom was just talking about that. I love her. Don't really care for Blueface. But I love Krishan. It's a sad thing to watch. Like, honestly. She's a young girl. It's just, it's kind of a lot to watch sometimes. So, I, I get where his point was going. You so know what I'm saying? And maybe... I? You know, but to me, man time, I'm blue face don't be on man time. So how we being on man time if you ain't on man time? Not to say it like that, but it's just like he could catch it straight. I don't give a f- it's not like he said R. Kelly. Then that to me would have been like Said so R. Kelly what? If he just like said R. Kelly. R. Kelly what? I don't know. Like if he cause he was also speaking on people that was having sex with underage girls. He didn't say a name there, but if he said like R. Kelly I feel like that's a name you could say. <laughs> like if anything, like that's the that's the name you could say. Like, why did I say that? I don't know. Like, I'm trying to understand where you, where you going with this, but I, I mean, know. if you want to walk down that no, line, I, I mean, don't. I go in the fight with you if you want, babe. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, but my point was, I don't really care for Blueface. Not that I care for R. Kelly. It just doesn't bother me that it's Blueface. Okay, that's so all I'm saying. What I will say is, I'm not going to say that. So let's unpack this a little bit, right? <laughs> One, this is going to be a touchy subject. I feel like that situation was so. So tragic, and the fact that like which situation, Chris Brown uh-huh. and Rihanna, because I feel like it came out late that she put her hands on him, right? Like I mean, super late, like a year maybe, maybe you might be right. And I just feel like it's so unfortunate that He's women taken. can get away with these things. Yeah. It's like, bro, like I'm not saying no man should put his hands on a woman. Yeah. Like I don't condone that at all. Right. But it's like so many women. It's like they think it's okay that they can just walk up yeah. a parade around the world. Putting their hands on people and is 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 yeah. is nothing that can happen. The same with these. It's so many things that yeah. women get away with that I just feel like it's unfair. Well, it is. It's true. Because even when I think of like what happened with like Gervonta and his baby mother, when she called the cops and said she was scared for her life, he was gonna kill her, and then she came back and kind of was like that. You know, she was just. I don't know. Like I, I mean, I definitely agree. I think you know, um, it's unfortunate because women do put their hands a lot. Mm. A hands on men a lot and whether I don't know they feel disrespected or whether it, what whatever the matter may be they do not get the same harsh reaction that if they a man do not keep the same energy. does it like you know what I mean and um yeah I agree I, I don't even have any like go around for that because it's just it's unfortunate it's and because especially because of how bad it is detrimental to his life um you know and she kind of had her interview, cried with Oprah, and it was just like, but I forgive him. Mm. Well, of course you did. Because you hit him first. Yeah, it's, it's, but, it's, it's you know. super unfortunate because, like, those things are more common than not, it right? Is. I think this is the, the door. It hey, is. you can let him up. Yes. Thank you so much. It is. Um, And um, I hope that, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I've said, I, I've said it before in a podcast, I done slapped a couple niggas. Oh, my God. I did. But I'm mature. I'm mature, mature, mature mm. now. Mature, you know, mature. But when mature. I was younger, yeah, like if I felt disrespected enough, I, I. But it wasn't right. But I also wasn't not like to say that. But like I, I came from an environment like when somebody was disrespectful, smack them. Mm. It didn't matter if there was female or guy though. Like it wasn't really a broad thing. It was just whoever. Not and it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I had to learn. 
obviously as I got older like that, you can't be doing that shit because yeah, it, cause when a man do swing back and you can't really go, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's kind of like you could do it, but it's foul. But it, that, it lacks some integrity but, behind it. But even that, I think like the world just is unfair, and I yeah. say that because like you see how you can have that conversation openly, and we can understand that yeah. it was a mistake, right? Right. He let's can't paint, have that. Let's paint Men, this picture. Right. Men can never have that conversation, even if come, they, come in, come in. Yes. Yo, you can go through the bathroom. Well, no, yeah, go through the bathroom and come around here. Hi, Nigel. Yeah, yeah. So, um, well, or you can just put it right here. My bad. Yeah, you can put it right there. I think. No. Yeah. Oh well. Well, it is what it is. Fine. They know what they, they know. We about to eat. So, um, the unfortunate part about it is men can't have that conversation in no aspect right. of life. Right. If it's sexual misconduct, it. if it's Got uh. It. Domestic violence, right? right? Imagine if men were on a couch just saying, like, you know, I made some mistakes, you know what I'm saying? People would they would kill him. He wouldn't even get a chance. Not not um uh literally, but like they would they would what's the what's the opposite of literally, guys? Help me out. Man, give me figuratively, figuratively. they would figuratively kill him. You know what I'm saying? Like if men was on a couch and like, yeah, I remember when da-da-da, I remember when da-da-da. And no, it's, it's true. Like they couldn't be out, like men can be out here. I remember back then I used to smack bitches. Yeah, so it's like, and and although if if we're talking about learning from something, yeah. we should have these spaces and it'd be okay yeah. with these spaces. You know what I'm saying? Because it shouldn't just be one one yeah. way, if that makes sense. No, I agree. Um, I think there's like with anything in the world though, I think there has to have limits. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I think it's what people can tolerate. So um I think because people view men as already dominant and more masculine than women and they can really hurt, but women can technically hurt men too. Not technically and, they can. No, not technically no, technically, like oh, they yeah. can. Right. Uh, but I think the comfort level of, I don't know, hearing somebody say, yeah, I did used to sexually abuse people and, um, you know, I don't do that anymore. I don't think that's the same comfort level of being able to like that's kind of one of those things is it's like warning label because mm. everybody can't stomach. But that, even that even even this, though, we just saw <clears throat> um, who was the chick that said she was in high school dating a 30 year old? Oh, yeah. Um, so now Lathan. So now Lathan. No, Neil Long. Neil Long. What, Neil Long can, and people probably no, criticize they us, right? No, they did. Of but course they, they did. They, nah, they no, criticize they did. us. No, hold up. They did. Hold up. Let me. It's let just me, like when Jim Jones said he, his mom told him me, how to kiss. Nah, let me finish it. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, they might have criticized us, right? Yeah. But if that was the other end, if a man was yeah. to say, yeah, I mean, when I was 30, bro, I was messing with this high no. school chick. Yeah. They would do more. It would, he it's would probably true. get canceled. Not it being criticized or being killed. It would be canceled. It would be, that's it for Nito. So it's like, I feel like it yeah, is so a double I th- standard. Well, I, I not even I don't think it's a double standard. I think it's a so like since younger, like you know how they say like they always were like a little more overprotective of girls, like keep the girls in the house, they can't do this, but the boys you just kinda send them outside. You don't know what's going on with them, you don't care what's going on with them. I think it's just more so a systematic thing. I don't think it's a uh, double standard. I think that's how society has bred boys and girls. It's mm. like we protect little girls, but that's why like even when you think of like all, there's a lot of kids that get molested, boys included, but mm-hmm. nobody really, it's really all oh, girls, girls, girls. And then when you hear boys being molested, it's just like, oh my God, like how could this happen? You know what I'm saying? Because people don't think the same things happen to boys that that, that does happen to girls, but they do. Mm. Which is why I, I can attest that why so many men do go unheard or do go, you know, they they internalize a lot of things because they don't get to speak about things because people typically think, I don't know, like it's not a superhero complex but like you're a boy you'll be fine or that can't happen to you because you're a boy but it does happen it does and it goes across the board so i don't want to plan it as a uh double standard because i don't think that's something that women are doing i think that's something that society has done mm, well if that makes man, sense that's something but that it's, 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 it's in fairness though it's, it's not right it's not right and um i just think that the more people gather like self-awareness like i think not even self-awareness i think well, it is because like what I will say is like, I love the way my friends to this day is raising their boys now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They tell them, you know, just a lot of things that a lot of boys didn't get told in our previous generation. So I like, I'm hoping that going forward, these talks and these harsh talks do happen with boys because the same, they, they, they live the same lives as little girls. It's just that they're boys. You know mm. what I'm saying? We all, we're all kids or we're all kids once. We're all living different lives, whether it's in predatorial eyes or people being, you know, malicious to us, or it happens to boys as well. It's not just girls. Or like, manipula- manipulated, I should say. I feel like it should be some line that we can create and draw, 
like a line in the sand where we say because I want people that I want people to be able to give that story yeah. so others can learn from it yeah. and then not harm them, but still uh, uh like I said, some type of line from it because yeah, I think it, it I, I think the problem is is if you open it for one thing, you open the can for all things, and I think it's hard for people to do because, like I said, I can't personally sit here and say that I can hear somebody sit on a couch of a confessional like, yeah. I used to uh, rape kids and um, yeah, but I'm a changed man. I personally still in my mind, whoa, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And I think that's how human just kind of operate, which, you know, if you're in church and you love God, you know that people can change. You know that God can save people from anything. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And you want to be loving. You want to be welcoming to think like, no, like I can forgive somebody, but some things everybody can stomach. So like in the the way, especially the way the media is and society is, that is really hard to do with all these open opinions just floating right now. You know what I mean? So I hear what you're saying and I would like to, it just like, for example, like, you know, there's governors who ran in Virginia that openly love pedophilia. You know what I'm saying? Everybody cannot stomach that. But that's why I say I wish we could have some type of guidelines of what can and what can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's unfortunate. But like that's why I say it's hard because like when you open a can for one, then here come... The murderers, yeah, well, me too. And here comes the creepers, me too. It's like a whole bunch of creepy crawlers just yeah. start walking out the. I think the gutter. It gets crazy. It gets weird. Nah, for sure. Let's um. You know, we coming to the end of the show. We only reason we rushing out of here, guys, because we gotta go get Amaya. Yeah, we don't she seem runs like we, our lives. Yeah, we don't want to seem like we doing y'all dirty. Y'all know we yeah. get y'all. We get y'all whatever. Whatever. Speaking it can of my go. baby's about to cross next week. She's about to get her line jacket. It's been a whole year, it's man. It's been a hard. year. Uh, what's it? Coach D been running niggas rampant. She's sake. Don't take that out. <laughs> She's sake. Um, yes, it's been a lot, but it's so rewarding. I love Amaya's mentality right now, so we are excited. No, in fact, she definitely. So, yeah. you definitely can see the growth in her. Oh my just, god, the maturity and everything. Yeah. So you want to? We, we before we get out of here, we always yeah. do this card game called the blank and game, right? Yeah. Um, so we want to do three. Let's we do pull it. three cards and we ask the question that we answer, all right? Mm-hmm. All right, so you want to start? Yeah. Oh, I'm my bad. You could just pick whatever one. You want me to pick my three now? Oh, I can. It don't matter. You take the deck. I think I'll pick three. And let's see. Let's see. Let's yeah. see. Can let's you, see. Do you open your hand? You say you want to do what? I need to call my mom. That's my, why you do that? Yeah, go ahead. Nigga, these three. Let's see where we at. I think I almost forgot how to do this game. I read mine and you, you answer read. it, right? Yeah. All right, bad, 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 bad. Let's see. Let me know when you when you ready. Two seconds. Two seconds. Let me know. You, you phone died. No, I told you my what's name is not working. Your what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lift? Yeah. Oh, she about to come back? Yeah. Okay. Wait, what? She, oh, she got her nails done? Yeah. Oh, okay. All I right. told you we were recording so I can take her. All right, bet. You got it? Um, yeah, I just got to send her the car. Go ahead. We All can right, go. Let me oh, see. My first one is, I think I'm going to have to wait for you to be done. Okay, let's do it. Go. It says, in what ways do you feel you heal me? What ways do I feel that I heal you? Mm -hmm. I feel like I work on myself Mm -hmm. so that way I can be a better communicator so that you're able to express yourself freely without judgment. Mm -hmm. So if I can have better listening skills, you can freely express yourself, which can give you some healing so you can be free. I like that. Yeah. Um, how do you think I find peace? How do I think you find peace? Yes. Um, I feel like you find peace <laughs> and like when you can be your, your freest, if that makes sense, if that makes sense. What do you mean? Like if you don't have, like if you could be worry free, I feel like that's how you find peace. It's never. Yeah. <laughs> But like it's been times where like everything is going good, 
know what I'm saying? Or yeah. like, it could be certain things. Like you find peace in the house, right? Okay. Like you find well, peace when yeah. you can go to the to the store and get a painting or get a plant or okay. pick up some things right. for the house. You find peace in that. Right. You feel me? Like you find peace. Level of home goods. Yeah, you find you find peace Target. in and um uh hang with the family and things like that. Yeah. Anytime it's outside of that, like when you gotta. Work. You can work or be, <laughs> be flustered. You know what I'm saying? When it don't go your way, I, I feel like you don't find peace. Okay. You get ruled. That wasn't the question. It just said, when do I find peace? Oh, not what I don't. I'm sorry. You're right. But you're you right. Right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> um, my no, bad. Look at that too. Why are you doing that? You said look at this? Yeah. Wait, what am I looking at? Oh, my payment error. Yeah. Um, I got to... You want me to put it on your hair? No, that's fine. Okay. Um, She tried to say, you know, when, they, when you go to the restaurant... And uh, you go to pay the bill, and a bill ain't and a, and a, and a uh, credit, credit card, card decline. They be like, yeah, they it's slide it to you. That's what you just I did. Try be, yeah, I try to be discreet for you. Nah, I appreciate you, but it's all good. But when you <laughs> when you got the money, it's like you can say it. Like yeah, you yeah, know how it changes. Like yeah, right. when you know you got the money, like bro, you can, it's, it, it, it deny. It's cool. I got yeah, it's cool. But when you don't have it, that's when it really hurts your feelings. But um, this one I got you. I'm about to read this one to you. Okay, let me hear. It says, if you could, if you could go back to the first time we met. What would you tell yourself about our relationship? Sheesh, that's tough. If I could go back to the first time we met, that's hard. what would I... Oh, what would you tell yourself about our relationship? Today's going to get better with time. Oh, that was so sweet. Yeah. That was sweet. Just have a little patience with him. He a little slow. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> go ahead, bro. Funny. It's your turn, man. Okay. How do you care for me? <laughs> How don't fix I care your, for you? you? Fix your face in every single way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how? Oh, I can. That's easy. This is the easiest one ever. All right, bet. So, make sure you eat. How? I don't make sure you eat. You usually cooking? No, not all the time. But, but I buy but the food. You will buy the food. Which is yeah. you will. I make sure you eat. Okay. I make sure the bills is paid. Okay. Uh, I make sure Amaya's good. Okay. I sometimes even make sure your head done. Not all the time. Yeah. Uh, sheesh. I be taking you out. Okay. Hey, right now when it, <laughs> it kind of got slow. Yeah, it's kind of got working. Slow. I've been letting you slide. I be getting you flowers. I wish okay. you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I can go. You. I'm not I'm saying, not I, with yeah, you. Why you like, waiting I can for a go. fight? I make sure you're good, you good, know, baby. That's how I care for you, for sure. Okay. All right, let me let me um last one. Last one. All right. Um I got the same card twice. What is the ours? That's insane. Look at this. That's crazy. I'll pick one, another one. Let's see what. All right, so. Oh man. No, they're different. It is? This one is what would you tell yourself about the relationship? This is what I would tell. Oh, so wow. That's crazy. So what would I tell myself about the relationship? Yeah. I think you took the words of my mouth, but I don't want to. Let me, let me not cheat. Yeah, I would say. Be um, creative. I would say. What I would tell myself about our relationship. So I can't say <laughs> start with myself, right? I can't say that. What do you mean? Like. Make sure you good. Okay. What I, like, whatever your answer is, I think it's okay. That's what I would say. Like. Before you start to point the finger about what else, what else, what somebody else is doing, look at yourself. Period. I know that's cliche, like but that. like no, just being real. honest, yeah. yeah. Like, understand how to control your own emotions first. Yeah, that's what I would say. I like that. Yeah. Go ahead. My last one. Mm -hmm. What do you love to do with me that I may not be aware of? Oh, that's easy. What is it? Bro, I think I need to turn my love languages to. I need. To, we need to go over love languages again. Okay. I think I'm really like. Physical touch type vibe. I like when you like lay on my chest when we watch movies. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah, I like I like watching. That's why you've been complaining about my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> I like I love when we can just kick it together and watch movies. I love when we can oh, just spend spend time together. Oh, that's so nice. I also, but you already know this. I love when you can like come with me to work. I hate coming with you to work. It's crazy, bro. Like, I hate it. That's <laughs> but whatever, but man. If you love it. You know, if you like it, I love it. You, you know. You cap. I um, come. What? I'll come. Whatever. All right. So, um, I've gone to you work, to church, 
couple things these church last Church and work what? I, you know, it's your business. What if you've been work is business? I mean church is business? It ordered. Thank you. Um no, it's not business, but I'm just saying, like, I went to you to Shan's spot when you had to do the oh, right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I Okay. Know. Well, yeah, Maybe man. Um, that was it. Did you have one more or no? That no, was that was my three. That was it, man. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 78. This is a great episode. Um, guys, don't uh don't expect this every <laughs> week right now, like right? No, 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 no. I'm not doing you like not that. Every baby. week. Yeah, no. Nah, it was doing. like every other week to get some consistency. Have on. have no expectations. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> have have no, Appreciate That's what crazy. you get. I'm just saying. That's crazy. Appreciate what you get. Show us some love. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. What's the, all the YouTube stuff? Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell. Ring that bell. Make sure you ring the notification bell so you can get the notifications every time you get it. And most importantly, go to the audio. Check out the Gemini Scorpio podcast on the audio. Give us a review. Give us a rating. It's a five star rating. Let them know you love us, man. Comment on the um. Make sure you do the comments if and all that. Y'all want us to do it every week. Y'all gotta blow us up. Ooh, how many comments? Be realistic. I don't know. Let's go. 50 comments. We'll do it every week. That's realistic. Yeah. That's not bad. 50 comments where? YouTube? YouTube. That's not bad. Yeah. Go to Mr. J-Hill Network uh, under this video. This is episode 78. If we get 50 comments, fi- that's not bad. If y'all do it, I swear to God. If we get 50 <laughs> comments, we drop a Gemini Scorpio podcast every week. I know we said we had something special for y'all, but y'all got to wait till next time. Sorry. Ah. We, have, Jay. we don't have enough time to go into it. Okay. It just is what it is. Love you. It ya. is what it is. Mr. Love J Hill. Shade in a building. You already know. Gemini Scorpio Podcast. We out. It's right. We out.